Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use or discuss with you Durable AI Website Builder. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we want to do here is we need to open up any browser, go to durable.co and from there access their website. Now, if you're not aware yet, Durable AI is a website builder wherein regardless of what you know about building websites, you'll be able to build your own website through the use of AI, which is a great way for you to start or basically create a basic website. Now, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to sign up to their platform. So at the top right of their website, you should see a sign in button. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, in the sign it page, you should be able to see an option that says sign up. Now, in this case, since I don't have my account yet, you, let's go ahead and click on sign up. And from here, we want to click on get started. Now, from here, it's going to ask us what type of business are you building? So maybe we want to say it is going to be a studio. Now, from here, let's go ahead and enter this one and just click on next. Now from here, where is your business located? So in this case, let's just enter a business here or a location. But for now, I'm going to retain this location. Click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you, what is your business name? So in this case, maybe I want to say this is the name of the business that I have right now. And from here, you could go ahead and just uh, enter or press on enter or click on the option that says generate website. Now, immediately, it's going to start generating your website, so you don't need to do anything. And this is something really cool. It's going to be uh, something that's going to evolve the current way of actually developing websites. And as you can see, it's going to say your website is now ready. Now, immediately, our website is now generated. So I didn't do anything. I just describe my business or the website that I want to receive or I want to get. And from here, immediately, I have different sections that I could basically edit. Now, in this case, let's go to the very top. So what are the things that we could do here? Well, at the very top here, we have our header. So if you want to regenerate a style here, you could go ahead and click on regenerate style. But in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it's going to change immediately. Now, also, you have the option to change the other sections here as well. Now, if you click on the drop down option here, you have the content, the style, and entire section as well if you want to change those. Like, for example, if you want to change the content, just click on content and it's going to regenerate those content. Now, from here on, let's go ahead and sign up with Google here. And from here, let's just choose our Google account. And we were able to create our account in Durable. Now, in this case, since we, we were able to create our account, additional options should now be available to us. Now, again, when we click on this section, we now have the option that says edit header as well as the regenerate style as well. Now, for now, let's just click on edit header. And the options for you to edit the header will now be available. Now, if you want to edit the other sections here, like for example, we have our banner here. Let's go ahead and click on edit and the options to edit the banner is now available. Now, first we have our content. So we have the heading, the subtext, the buttons here if you want to include that. But if you want to disable that, go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, the button is now not present. Now, we also have the option to regenerate text that we have right now. So meaning you don't have to think about anything. You can go ahead and just click on regenerate and it could basically make AI think for you and basically making AI customize the website for you. Now here we also have the styles option wherein you'll be able to change the color, button style, the heading, and even the background image. Now if you want to remove the background image, just click on this one. And as you can see, background image is now not present. Now we also have the animations here, the spacing. So we have the top and bottom and divider border and combine with header. So depending on what you select here or what section that you are currently editing, there's going to be different elements that you could change for that. Now, in this, case, in this case, we have this other section as well. Now here, let's go ahead and click on edit. And from here, the following information or sections, you could go ahead and edit this. Now, in this case, we have the content here and the image that was actually used and the other text for that image. Now we have the image position, button style here and the label. Now here we also have the option to change style and in here we have the image fit, aspect ratio, rounded corners, animation, spacing, and a lot more. 
Now, for example, let's go to content. Now, from here, if you want to change the text, you could go ahead and just delete all the other sections here and add yours that you want to add. To add. Now, in this case, since we deleted some of the sections here, immediately you'll be able to see the change that we just recently made. Now, if you want to reverse that, just click on Control V on your keyboard and changes should now be reversed. And as you can see right now. Now, once you're done, just click on the Done at the top right. Now, again, if you want to change the current formatting like for example you want the section to be at the below this section here what you need to do is just click on the specific section here that you want to move and from here you have the move up and move down option so let's just move this down and as you can see it is now below this section here now as well if you want to add new sections just click on the add new section here and from here you'll be able to choose different types of sections so we have a banner here calendly embedded contact form faq instagram list pricing table location and a lot more now for example let's just choose instagram here to add an instagram section now from here it's going to give you different instagram posts for the selected instagram account so let's go ahead and click on edit and from here you'll be able to see the instagram profile that we could choose for this website as well as the style for this specific section now at the top right, we have the option to view our website. So at the top, you have the desktop, tablet, and phone, which is a great way for you to see how your website is going to look like on that specific device. Now here, we also have the team options if you want to ch change the color palette, the fonts, button styles, and a lot more. Now I also have the widgets here, wherein you'll be able to add widgets that you want to add into your website, like for example, messenger chat, WhatsApp button, Telegram button, and a lot more. Now, if you want to preview your website, just click on the preview button at the top right here. And from here, you'll be able to see the preview of your website. So if you want to get a professional domain, then you would have to upgrade it to a plan. So if you want to upgrade, just click on upgrade now. And from here, you'll be able to choose the following plans. So currently, the free version here is for individuals or aspiring entrepreneurs who are just starting out and need a website. Now we have the startup here with additional features like for example, custom domain, 10 pages, one user, priority email support, and a lot more. Now here we also have the business plan here we're in. You'll have more options and features that you get access. Now in this case, you could go ahead and use the free one here if you're just starting out. But if you decide later on to use the startup here, just click on upgrade now. And from there, just follow the steps for you to upgrade your account. And once you're done all the changes that you did, just click on save at the top left here. And it's going to save your changes and... As you can see, website is now saved. Now again, at the top right, click on preview website and just click on preview here. Sorry for you to view or preview your website as you can see right now. And yeah, so that's about it. So I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.